Welcome back to Star Wars Show Live from Star Wars Celebration 2016 on StarWars.com. I am so excited to be joined by my friend Sam Witwer, who you would know as the voice of Darth Maul from the Clone Wars, Rebels, and is also a big, big Star Wars fan. A little, a little bit. A little, a little bit. A little yeah. bit. A little bit. So I know you got to go see the Rogue One panel. As a fan, what was that like? What did that mean for you? Well, I, I think it was really exciting to see a different corner of that version of the Star Wars universe, the, the Episode Four version. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. I mean, that's where we all started. That's what we grew up with. So to see further aspects of that is really exciting. Yeah, and, and kind of getting a little bit of taste of, of the new designs and the new feel, and it's, yeah. it's all so beautiful. Yeah, it is. It is. You, we have, what are they? They're called Shore Troopers now? The Shore Troopers? The, right, and the then... Baywatch Troopers. <laughs> The beach troopers. Yeah, they're kind of in like their summer clothes. Yeah, yeah. they have like like rocket surfboards. I think <laughs> is what they have, right? And it's a Spo nice com it's a nice compliment to the death troopers, which I kind of dig because black's my favorite color. There's death, and then there's like surf buddies covering the whole. And spectrum. they cover all, and in between are the stormtroopers somewhere. Yeah. So you had kind of a big season of of rebels. You were one of the most like anticipated returns. Uh, yeah, people were so were super excited really? to see Darth Maul come back, right? <laughs> Who likes Darth Maul? Yeah, see? And, and you know, you played such a large part in, in that finale. What was it like to come back and reprise that role? It was, it was really fun. I mean, it was different than when we did Clone Wars, right. because with Clone Wars, I would, between takes, I would excuse myself to the bathroom and just practice, because I was like, how does this go? I don't quite know this character yet. And now it's years later, I know the character, and now we just are doing weird things <laughs> with the character. That's the fun of it, it's been, it's been like, I don't quite know what he's going to do, which is fun. Keeps yeah. you on your toes. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, he's, he's, he's different now. He's 15 years older and he's, I don't know, is he a little bit older and wise? He's older, is he wiser? Probably not. But he's, he's still evil, so that's good. So what changes for you, like in the performance of Maul between Clone Wars and now with well, Rebels? Part of the fun of it was playing with his age. How old is he? Because we figure he's around in his some 40s? 50 to 60, 50s we to think. Oh. Yeah, we think. Um, and so at this point, I mean, that whole old master thing, part of the fun of it was like grabbing my throat and having him talk like this. And as the the episode wore right. on, letting it go and letting the voice kind of settle back into a Darth Maul type thing. But we still touch back on that, mm -hmm. as some people will see later at the Star Wars Rebels panel. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about what people can expect tonight? At I the can Star tell Wars you Rebels? all about it, yes. Oh, cool. I'm going to tell you everything you see in the panel so no one has to go see it. Because <laughs> why would you want to do that? Well, we are going to be showing the panel here, and I'm really excited about ah, it. Yeah, so. it's cool. They're, they're showing a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. We're showing the trailer for season three. And there's all kinds of stuff that are, that are going to destroy young minds. And then there's um, a few clips, and then we're showing episodes one and two from season three. Which we will not be showing, unfortunately. Yes. But I, Rebels has changed so much in the past season. Like, it's been growing steadily from one to two, but I feel like from what I've seen of three, which is basically just the beginning, that there's a huge leap and a huge change in how the story is being told. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, there's... there's some serious things have happened on that show, um, not the least of which uh, Kanan has been blinded. Yeah, good job with that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Look, I, I keep apologizing to Freddy. He's cool about it. He's That's good. good. That's it's good. all good. Yeah. I'm glad you guys got past that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. I'm, We're good. Because I'm still not past it. I'm nah. not over it. I'm not over it. You know what, though? That's how it goes. And so Maul is, Maul is actually, he's such a complex character. He's got a lot of emotional baggage with his brother and, and what, you know, Palpatine did to him. What do you like most about portraying this character? <laughs> well, these days, I think I like the humor. Because, yeah. I mean, in Clone Wars, he slowly developed a little bit of a sense of humor there at the end. And so we've kind of taken that. And some of the ways that he threatens people these days, just I, we think is funny. I think is funny. Dave thinks it's funny. <laughs> so the, the humor to the character, it, it, which is weird, you wouldn't think of Darth Maul as a funny guy. Mm -hmm. But um, on the other hand, you wouldn't think of Palpatine as a funny guy, and Palpatine's well, really funny. And by He's, the way, I love your Palpatine. Oh, thank like, you. Like, that's probably my favorite, my favorite voice. So are we going to get to hear a little bit more of him in Rebels eventually? Oh. Oh. I don't know. Well, all right, I, then. Yes, I do know, but I can't. I don't know. Well, I guess I won't put you on it. Hard to say. 
Yeah. I'll let you go then. Thank you so much for joining us and have fun at the Rebels panel. I can't wait to see what goes on. Thank you. It's going to be really rad. And we will be back with more Star Wars show from Celebration in just a moment.